Welcome back to another lesson for N2 electrical trade theory. And in this module, we'll be looking at the second part of module seven. And this has got to do with single phase AC motors. Just remember this entire module seven makes up 8% of the national curriculum. Now we'll be looking at three types of single phase AC motors. And the first one is the resistance start induction run motor. It has low torque and a good application is a washing machine. The start winding, also known as the auxiliary winding, is wound with fewer turns and has a smaller diameter. Therefore, it has higher resistance and lower inductance than the main winding, also known as the run winding. When the motor starts to run, the current through the main winding will cause the voltage to lag behind the current through the start winding. This lag splits the AC wave, which allows the interaction of the fields to turn the rotor. When the rotor reaches about 80% of its full rated synchronous speed, the centrifugal switch disconnects the start winding. Here we have the capacitor start induction run motor. And it's important to note that there is only one capacitor. It has higher torque and its main application is used in swimming pool pumps, as an example. A capacitor start induction motor only has a capacitor in series with the auxiliary winding during starting. Once the rotor reaches 80% operating speed, the centrifugal switch disengages and cuts out the start capacitor and start winding. Here we have the capacitor start capacitor run induction run motor. And it's important to note that there are two capacitors. It has the highest torque and a good application is used for air compressors or for refrigeration. The capacitor start capacitor run motor has a cage rotor and its stator has two windings known as the main and auxiliary windings. The two windings are displaced 90 degrees in space. There are two capacitors in this method. One is used at the time of starting and is known as the start capacitor. The other one is used for continuous running of the motor and is known as the run capacitor. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and to share these videos. Thank you.